My mind is a raging torrent, flooded with rivulets of thought, cascading into a waterfall of creative alternatives. Go right ahead. I have a uh, question about free will. Mm -hmm. So, if God knows everything, mm -hmm. then God already knows who's going to hell and who's going to heaven before he even ever created them, before he created the universe, before he created Adam. Absolutely. So, with this viewpoint, how could we all have free will at all if everything's already determined? All right, excellent question. Question, do you like football? Yes. Let's suppose you like NFL football, so you have direct TV, so you can get out and have enough faith to be an atheist. <laughs> and NFL direct ticket. Right? So you can watch all the games on Sunday. One Sunday you're away from the TV, but you record the games that you want to watch later. And let's suppose you're coming home that night and your friend texts you all the scores and you go, I didn't want to know the scores, but you know them now. And so you get home and you elect to watch one of the games. You already know what the score is going to turn out to be. Question, does that mean the players on the field don't have free will because you know the outcome? I know. Okay, they're still freely doing what they're doing on the field. The problem is they've already done it. They've already done it. And God's outside of time. For, so from his perspective, everything has already happened, even though it hasn't on our perspective, because we're in time, he's outside of time. So God knows the end from the beginning. That's how he can do prophecy, obviously. He's all-knowing as well. And just because it's already happened in his mind doesn't mean that he's causing us to do it directly. We still have free will. When God created you, if you're a believer, he knew you would be a believer. When God created Richard Dawkins, he knew Richard Dawkins would be an atheist, but you freely chose to be a believer, and Richard Dawkins freely chose to be an atheist. And so God is just. Just because you know, just because he knows what's going to happen doesn't mean that we don't have free will. Does that make sense? Okay, well, it's, it's an analogy. It may not perfectly uh, illustrate it, but if, we're out, if God's outside of time, he knows the end from the beginning. Now, you might say, why would God create somebody he knew would go to hell, right? That's a good question. But, unfortunately, we're out of time. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, God gives us free will. And let me ask you this question. If God were to... Is God obligated to not create or allow us to create people through intercourse if somebody is going to turn out to be an unbeliever? Is God obligated to stop that creation? I don't think he is. Suppose the first two people are going to be Christians, and then the third person that comes along is going to be an atheist. Does that mean God can only make a universe of two people? No. Not only that, if you're a Christian... I can almost guarantee you, in fact, I can guarantee you, you wouldn't be here if it wasn't for atheists. Why? Because I'm sure there's atheists in your bloodline. There's unbelievers in your bloodline. There's unbelievers in my bloodline. Not only that, but God can even get his free will done through people who don't follow him, or his will done through people who don't follow him. An example of this from the scriptures is, uh, is Joseph. Joseph is sold into slavery by his brothers, and somehow he makes his way to Egypt and gets into a position of prominence and he puts grain aside in case there's a famine, and then there is a famine, and Joseph's own family, who sold him into slavery, come to Egypt to escape the famine. And Joseph sees him and says, you sold me into slavery. You meant it for evil, but God meant it for good, the saving of many lives that's going on right now. God can bring good from even the evil that we do and, other, and unbelievers do. And so God can, can bring good even from evil. So God allows people to be created because they freely choose to either believe him or not to believe him, even though he knows what they're going to do.